Hey guys, Dave GDM here. Welcome to uh, the first of many uh, scrapping and e-waste videos that'll be uh, coming to the channel because the gaming stuff isn't really taking off right now. I'll still do them. I'll still do gaming stuff, but not not as much as I uh, used to. So today is about grading circuit boards, and uh, yeah grading circuit boards, and I'm going to do a, uh, a video on motherboards as well, after. So, let's start off with low grade boards, that one's not low grade. So all three of these are low grade boards, uh, if we look at this one here, this one's out of a, a TV, a CRT, box TV, uh, so you got, for the most part, base metal recovery. Low grade boards are going to be the trash. Of your boards they're worth the least but they are the heaviest and you're gonna get a ton of them you're gonna get at least one low-grade board for almost every piece of e-waste you scrap out so each each one of these I know for sure these four these four or five uh, VCR boxes are gonna have at least one large board spanning most likely the entire bottom or two smaller ones and they're both going to be low grade. There may be a rare case where you might get a mid grade out of them but I doubt it. So basically what's there's not a lot on here. It's a flyback transformer. These are useless. Do not throw them into transformers. There's very little copper. Your scrapyard will not want them. Throw them in a scrap steel or leave them on your board. Uh, you're going to get extruded aluminum, dirty aluminum in these capacitors here, these two circle things. Uh, you're going to get, you can get some IC chips on here, and I would recommend you take these off. Because you're not going to devalue your board by taking these off of a low grade board. But that's the only time that you're not going to devalue a board for the most part. So, there's that one there. Um, this is another type of low grade board here. It's very worthless. There's, you know, a few capacitors. There is a daughter board on here, but there's probably nothing good. Uh, you can get a lot of transformers and stuff on here. What I would recommend is don't take off, don't depopulate these for the most part. You know, you can take the relay off of it and stuff because there's copper in there and you're going to get some copper out of these. That's, that and IC chips is the only thing really worth taking off. Uh, for me anyway, because I get about 26 cents a pound for a good mix of uh, low grade boards. And, you know, aluminum's only going for, you know, maybe 11 to 15 cents. Transformers are like 7 or 8. It's not really worth it. I wouldn't bother with it. Um, another one that you're going to get is this. This one's more packed. It's got, you know, IC chips on it. But there's a ton of junk. I mean, you got some crystals you can grab if that's your thing. Uh, that might be a relay. I'm not really sure. But, you know, I'd, again, I'd recommend taking those IC chips because they're going to be worth it if you grab them. Uh, the next type of board here is um, mid-grade boards. Now, these, for the most part, you're not going to want to take anything off of these. You're going to want to sell these as is. It's going to be your best, uh, best bet is just leave them the way they are and sell them. This one here, if you look, you know, you got some flat packs, a square IC chip, some crystals. You can take those. But they're worth very little, and unless you're in the silver recovery, which I, I don't know why you would be, uh, you can take the gold pins too. But I wouldn't take any of this off. I'm just going to sell this one as is. Uh, you can get some gold pins out of that connector right there. But it's not easy, and I wouldn't bother with it. Uh, some might have some decent gold plating, but again, not my thing, so I won't bother. So if you're in the gold recovery, you can take off the pins take off the crystals for silver recovery but otherwise I'd leave that one uh, these these two here I think they came out of modems uh, if you look this one here has got you know the main gold corner BGA you got some smaller ones here you might be able to pinch one of these but again be careful what you take off your board buyer will most likely notice and they're either not gonna even give you mid-grade board they're gonna probably give you low grade if you take off stuff and uh, it'll also break their trust with you as well. So I wouldn't bother. Uh, if you want to depopulate it yourself, that's fine. Do that. 
Otherwise, just leave it alone. Uh, this is another one. You know, it's... You know, it's medium. It's a mid-grade board. It's got a mix of junk. You know, there are some gold pins, but they're not very good. You know, you got your crystals again. Again, you can take those. Well, you got that one main chip there. You're not going to want to touch that. If you take that off, this is low-grade. Doesn't matter. If that chip comes off, this is a low-grade board. Uh, this one here is almost a low grade board because of all the junk on here there's a lot of scrap steel weight probably about half the weight of this board is the scrap steel and you know the board itself which really isn't worth a ton you do have flat pack on the back there might be some resistors and mlcc in there but they're really hard to see so you know you got a chip there you got a chip there but if you take those off your buyer's most likely going to notice that you're taking off chips and they're not going to be very happy with you now another grade you can get is server and telecom or server and telecom grade boards this one i don't think is a telecom because it's got you know if it just had this and not you know these because of all the chips on here and you know and the gold pins and very little junk this could probably go as telecom because you know it came out I mean, it came out of a telecom system, but just because it comes out of telecom does not mean it's telecom grade. Now, if you want to go ahead and take off these and, you know, maybe get the pins out of there, kind of hard to see. I, don't, I wouldn't bother. I'm going to try and get, you know, server to telecom grade for this. Uh, I don't have any server grade boards, as far as I know, around. And uh, the only other thing I can really think of is, like, slot cards... Uh, motherboards like these, which will be a different video. And you, you might get the uh, you know the odd high grade board here and there, but for the most part, those can be your four main grades of boards: uh, low, mid, telecom, and sorry, low grade, mid grade, server, and telecom. You know, and you're gonna get you know your motherboards, slot cards, stuff like that. But that's a completely different you know spectrum. That's a totally different thing and i'll do a completely different video on motherboards so thanks for watching keep scrapping see you all next time